25, look alive. Okay, welcome back. Oh, we're starting. <laughs> Action. Okay, guys, it's day five. We are working on our strength game. We're so excited. We're going to change things up a little bit today. So for strength, typically, typically, we do a different timing. Today, we're going to do 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. Because we have equipment, we have big equipment, we don't want you to be fiddling with it in between. So we thought that 20 second break could really help us. Okay. Not to mention Not to those reps. We're mm -hmm. upping the reps. We're it's upping February the reps. And you're ready for it. And we're bringing it. That means you're going to fully need that 20 seconds to recover, okay? Mm -hmm. So if you find that you are getting to the end of that 40 second work period and you have more in you, you need to up your weight, okay? Add some other form of outside resistance. Or maybe you work into the rest a little bit because it's a full 20 seconds. Today, we have our sculpt bars to help us sculpt our bodies. We have dumbbells. We're going to go with the 10 pound today. You can do you. Do whatever works best for your body. Really pay attention to what feels options, good. Options, options. By the way, I just saw this quote that said, fact, I don't know if it's a fact, but they can <laughs> that that people who talk with their hands are more uh -oh. to be telling the truth. <laughs> it's like, thank God! Because I feel like we're always like, no, 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 no. I, people make fun of me because I talk with my hands. They're like, okay, yeah. put the... Yeah. <laughs> Sit <laughs> now, on your hands. Now it's like painfully evident. Okay, now you so can tell them. We also have the core bands. <laughs> it means I'm truthful. We have the core bands and we have our bench. We have the bench, okay? So today's finisher is a total body blast and we're so excited about it in our little matching outfits. Thanks, okay, Gymshark. let's do it. Thanks, Gymshark. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so first and foremost, we're going to get into our warm up. You know how we do this. Eight different movements. We're going to flow through. Okay, starting. Like this? Starting now. We're flowing no? through. We're flo side to side hops. Okay, here we go. So remember the option if you have weak ankles or knees to have both feet on the ground. Otherwise, one foot at a time, and we're switching now. <laughs> just to get that body nice and warm. Yeah. <laughs> All I needed today. <laughs> oh, it is cold outside. It's cold today, <laughs> we're feeling it. Two, and run right into those jumping jacks. I don't know if you can tell, but the tip of my nose is red. That's how cold <laughs> it is outside. <laughs> it's freezing. We're feeling it in here, so we're trying to warm this place up. Yeah, I'm excited to bring the heat for this one. <laughs> And move into arm circles in eight seconds. I just want to keep jumping. I know. <laughs> Three, <That> shuffle. Two, <laughs> one. Right. Okay. Whew. I'm going to give you some space there. Forward. So we're trying to really mobilize through the shoulders, stretch out the chest. So as you take the arms behind you, think of really stretching out the chest, bringing the shoulder blades together. Reverse. Switch directions. Ooh, that feels so nice. That feels so nice. All oh, my favorite ones coming up next. Four, three, two, one. So you know how we do it. Step over and reach. <laughs> it's never going to get Vogue. old for me. I feel like we're so focused on the wrist that we're not even getting the What's happening with the rest of my body? <laughs> No, I'm feeling the flaring of my rib cage. I feel it. Oh, feels so good. Eight seconds. Oh, almost there. As my body thaws out. February winters in Canada. And, okay, leg swings. So we're just swinging that leg across the body. Aren't you so excited to sit on a patio? Yes. And have, like, can you imagine? When things open back up in spring, I feel like it's just going to be mayhem. It will be mayhem. Like insanity. I feel like there's so many small pleasures, switch sides, that we take for granted. Well, I know that I probably have without even fully realizing it. That I would like. I'll definitely be more present. Go on. Something as simple as sitting on a patio and actually Let's people watching, it. right? Like, I don't, we don't, oh, it's lateral. People well, watching, right? right? I think no, that I like a lot of the time I'm so focused on what messages are coming in, 
what's happening everywhere else but right here that I forget to like shut the phone down and enjoy the company that I have yeah or like even just take a look at the effort that maybe the chef put in to provide this beautiful plate <laughs> I don't know. Full glass of wine. Really, just sip it and feel it. Yeah. Oh, wine. <laughs> I'm thinking about wine. Okay. So, we talked about this, Fred. Remember? I recently discovered, probably in the last eight months or so, that if you chill red wine. Mm, crossover. Oh, my God. Chill your red wine. It goes down like heaven. It still warms the soul, let me tell you. <laughs> Oh, yeah, sangria. Oh, no, but not even like a no, full No, I know, but I just mean you kind of get like a... Bordeaux, like so slightly chilled. I don't know. Just hits differently. Four, three, two. Oh, that feels nice. All right. Strength day. What do we got so, first? Alternating yes. decline. Dumbbell. Okay, so we're going to teach you how to get your bench into a decline. See this little handle here? There you go. Ah, just like so. Then we're going to get our dumbbells. I'm going to turn my back to you. I'm really sorry, just to show you what it looks like. Okay, let's start with that right arm. So just a micro bend in the arm. So unilateral work. We talked about this before. It helps to strengthen your muscles a little bit more focused and helps correct imbalances. <sighs> Beautiful. I love a good fly. So we're obviously using 10 pounds here. You can see it, we won't lie. But you can load up. Typically, when I'm at home and I'm doing a fly, I like to be in and around the 15, 15 to 17 pound range, just as long as you're not feeling too much of a pull on your pack. Yes. Okay. Watch that shoulder. Now rest up. Okay. So we're going to stay here, yeah? Yeah. Resets here. So we're just going to burn this out. Feels so do? good. Why are you getting rid of that dumbbell? I'm not getting rid oh, okay. of it. Okay, sorry. I'm not getting sorry. rid of it. If you want to up the ante, this is a great place for you to add the pink thingy on the back and use it with your weight, okay? A lot of the time, you'll, I'll notice when people get on a bench, they tend to get onto their tippy toes. They start flailing their legs around. That is a really big error and where you lose a lot of power. Really think of rooting down to the ground with your feet, okay? Energy flows from the bottom all the way up. <sighs> and watch that line, follow the shoulder. Stay in line, don't let it go forward too high. You're gonna start to fatigue, so now you have to pay attention to the form. Watch that rib cage. Beautiful. Don't let it flare. flare. That's another great tip. So you do have a little arch in your back when you're on a bench. Okay, but the goal is to keep your back body ribs, those posterior ribs, firmly rooted into the bench. The arch happens in the lower lumbar only. Okay, here we go. So there's not a huge arch pushing down through the rib cage. Do you see just that little natural curve between the lower lumbar on the bench? My feet are firmly rooted to the ground. And the action of pushing your lower rib cage or your rib cage into the bench helps knit the front body, like your rib cage down. So we're not popping those ribs up towards the ceiling either. Inhale, big exhale. Everything knits together like a nice little corset. Ah! <laughs> okay, we're almost there. Here you go. <laughs> uh, well done. Yay! Okay, beauty! Feel okay, that. what do we got next? I love that. Love it. All right, Arnold Press. So let's keep them, but kick that bench back up. So you want to come to level. See how easy that was? I didn't even touch it. You're going to appreciate the, the extra slide. time. So I'm going to show you what it's like to get the bench all the way up in case you need that back support for your Arnold presses, OK? OK. We're going to get our bum right to the base, starting with that 90 degree angle. Put pinky fingers together. We're opening up, so supinating our grip before taking it overhead. Don't let your elbows go too far below your shoulders. So ideally, they're always at shoulder height. And we're not trying to arch the back too much. Inhale, big exhale. 10 seconds. 
I want to pump you up. <laughs> This is his, right? Yes, this is his. Hence the name, Arnold. Okay. Yeah. Those people ask sneak all the up time. on you, right? Yeah, they do. They totally sneak After up on you. After about seven reps, you're like, oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so if you want to start with one weight and you feel like you might not be able to get all the way through, have your other dumbbells nearby so you can switch real quick. Okay, we're back up in four. Get your weights ready. Three, two, and one. Here we go. <sighs> Beautiful. The so same thing applies. You don't want to flare that rib cage as you come up. The tendency is to arc the back to try and compensate for that difficulty. You really want to maintain that stacked spine. And the shoulder blades. Shoulders tend to hike all the way up towards the ears. Don't let them go up towards your ears. Try to keep them nice and soft. 10 seconds. Oh, it feels like burning right here. Okay, three, keep going. Two and one. So that is right. Right near the end, those last two, three reps should be hard. It should feel like extra, extra, extra effort to get it done. It shouldn't be easy. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have that sensation like oh, yeah. pterodactyl arms. Okay, let's get those weights up. A little terrified of this third oh. set. <sighs> Here this is we where go. We need to like discuss, take our brain away from what's happening. What's happening in, what's the, world? in the world? It's or on Netflix? Netflix. <laughs> I think I always come back to Netflix. This is like the only time my TV goes on if the kids aren't watching like Teen Titans or like Spirit. <laughs> Is that what your kids, oh my god, my kids love spirit. So my kids are saving for a horse, legit. Oh my no goodness. Joke. Six seconds. So I, they I make $10 this. allowance a week. And so far they've saved, I think each of them have like $260. That's expensive, you have three children. That's 30 bucks a week. I know, but what they've the? got chores, trust me, they work for it. Oh. High expectations, what's next? Okay, so we, we got get rid of this stuff. Bar. Clean and press. No, okay, but so they don't under, of, yeah, sorry. I'll get into it in a minute. Clean and press. So you need the sculpt bar. We're gonna stay here for three. So set it up for yourself. You're going sideways. So we really wanna use the momentum here, the upward momentum. It's a flick of the wrist to get that bar onto your shoulders before taking it overhead. Keep it close to your body. Slide it down like a deadlift. And overhead. Okay. So a nice bend in the knee. Okay, so let's get back to As this horse. Brace that. Wait, with the clean here, and then momentum up. Okay, so yeah, sorry, that phone is off. Don't pay attention to that. Um, yeah, so they look on Kijiji, and they think like, oh, I found this horse named Rusty. That's the one I'm going to get. So I try to explain to them. Okay, you make $10 a week. It's going to take you I this long. I found a horse named Rusty. This horse is not oh going to be available by the time you save up. To, you know, so they, are they trying to get you to spot them? <laughs> no, but then they're like totally devastated because they've fallen in love with this horse. With Rusty. Or whatever the name is. I like Rusty. <sighs> My daughter's still is into the stuffies and the unicorns. Oh, they are too. Because I can't have the real thing. Our latest stuffy addition to the family is this gigantic, he's not gigantic, but I guess he's bigger than most of our other stuffies, size of a pillow. Aww. And his name is Rainbow Marshmallow. Oh, you have that one. You have Rainbow I know which one it is. No, she made it up. No, but does it look like a rainbow marshmallow? It kind of looks like a rainbow marshmallow. We have one that looks like a rainbow marshmallow. It's the size of a pillow. It's insanely it soft. Yeah. Yeah. And she uses it now as a pillow. So I she use like it when that. I put them to sleep. That's my pillow. Rainbow marshmallow. Rainbow marshmallow. marshmallow? Jesus. Yeah. We need to like <laughs> send sh share pictures of this later. Okay. Yeah. Was that set too? That was set too. Two. Okay. One, one more. more. Here we I go. I like it. <sighs> So we're not coming into a full squat, just a bit of a quarter squat to use that momentum to take the weight up. Yeah, stay at the top. These feel so powerful. 20 seconds. So again, work on your form. And get that clean down before you start adding more weight. Because you are going 
above your head. Three seconds. Come on. Well done. Ooh, okay. Okay. What do we got next? Next on the docket. Ooh. Bent okay. over row. So you can use the pink thing. I'm going to use dumbbells. Okay, watch me now. Ooh. I'm going to loop the pink thingy into my spies. feet. Take a nice wide stance and walk my hands way down, okay? All right, so bent over row. So from the bottom. To good morning. Row. Then let the weight hang down all the way up for good morning. So when you're rowing, really think of activating through the back of your body. We see too many people rowing and their shoulder blades stay stiff. So you want your shoulder blades to retract and protract with your movement. So retract, protract. That's and when it. When you come forward in that hinge, you want to make sure not to sag that midsection. Keep that knitted in the front. No and sagging then, here. As you pull up, right? Okay. How do you like pink thing? I love it. I walked my hand down, so now I'm like rungless. There's no rungs. That's it. That's as good as it gets. Something went rung. <laughs> Three, two, one. So glutes to the back wall, gaze down, row. Activate those shoulder Every blades. Every time you say gaze, I'm looking in the wrong direction. I'm aware of it. It's for you, darling. <laughs> and for you guys at home. You're the gaze master. There we go. Remember those shoulder blades. I want them moving. 10 seconds. Breathe. Think power, not speed. For this last set, what, what say we play with tempo a little bit? Yeah, like that. Okay. So when we go down in row, let's hold at the top for three, okay. two, one, before lowering down. Okay. You got it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Eight seconds. Last set. Woo! The gaze master. I love Roll it. the shoulders back. <laughs> Here we go. Hinge, hinge, hinge. Row, hold for three, two, one. Slowly down before we come into that good morning. Row, three, two, one. Slowly down. There I we go. Smell bacon. Oh, I smell bacon. Oh my god. I smell bacon. That's what you call torture. You know, bacon. Let's work for that bacon. Row, hold. Slowly release and up. Ten more seconds like that. Two more. Hold. Slowly release, keeping that muscle under tension for just a little bit longer. One more time. Hold at the top for three, two, and one. Oh. I might be coming around on strength then. Okay, grab for your bench. Your what? Your bench. Oh. <laughs> your bench. Right. What did you think I said? The bitch of a bench. Ah! My bench is stuck. What are we doing? Hops? No. We're doing up and over. Up and over. Okay, let me get my bench down. Ah! Here we go. Okay, so we're doing a lateral step up. One foot firmly planted on the bench. We're coming up and kicking that leg all the way back. Tap it down, just the toes. We're gonna stay on this side. So your knees are going to be driving forward here. We wanna make sure that they're not driving forward too far past the toe of that planted foot, okay? So drive, 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 drive that knee forward and send the glutes up and back. Full extension Ooh, through like the hip. That. You feel it, don't you? Feel it. Okay, to yeah. the other side. Firmly planting that foot on the tippy toes. Drive the knee forward as you come up, and then hip extension. Okay, we're on in, in four, four, three, two, and one. <sighs> nice work. So shift your weight so that you're nice and balanced at the top. <sighs> Feel the burn in the quad here. Oh. And the glute back here. That's it. I feel it. I feel it in my bones. I feel it in my muscles. I can't stop thinking about bacon right now. Oh my goodness. Well, that sucks for you. <laughs> you, you, you don't eat bacon. 
You know what? I love the smell of it, but ah, I don't like urine to eat it. I haven't had it in a really long time, actually. In a really long time. Okay, last set. Gonna We're switch. gonna split it. 20 on one side, 20 on the other. 20 <sighs> seconds, that is. 20 seconds, 20 seconds. Let's try to get the same amount of sets on each side, okay? So let's count while we do the right side. Starting now, let's go. One, you do your own counting. <laughs> Me, three, four. I'm at them at home. <sighs> You're a speed demon. <sighs> strength day. Like all of it. We're switching in three, two, and one. Here we go, switch. Try to match your reps. Ooh! Oh, feel that. Oh. Oh my, my goodness. Okay. Oh. Froggers. Ah, we're gonna stay on the bench for froggers with leg abduction. What does that mean? Demo. This is the money shot. Demo, please. Okay, so we're coming back. We're pulling the heels in towards the groin and then taking the legs out. Point your toes in and out. In and out. You can be in a V-sit position like Jess or have your back oh. supported by the bench. That's much easier. I don't know about much. Much. It's, a, it's just a little different. Oh, point those toes. 10 seconds. Oh, keep going. Last four, three, two, and one. Oh, yikes. Oh. I think that like Do you guys remember talking frog? about my bruise the other day? Look at that. Look at that. It's intense, huh? It's purple. It's a good one. I didn't know I could turn that color. <laughs> I didn't know. All okay. right, two. One. I'm trying your version. Okay, heels together, toes out to the side. When you pull the heels in towards the groin, you want to keep your knees pointing outward. Point your toes as we come into that adduction. Okay, here we go. The legs are on an angle. What do you think of this version? It's not bad. Oh, I have to say. Oh, six it's not seconds. Nothing. Three, two, and one. Oh. Yeah, definitely a lot more in the hip flexors, quads, definitely. The other one was a little, little bit more core work. centric. Yeah. Okay. Let's so switch it up. I am loving the addition of the bench into our lives. I hope you're enjoying it too. It makes everything so much more versatile. If you don't have it at home, we've programmed it as such, where mostly everything can be done on the ground. Okay. Oh. I'm gonna go half and half. Oh my goodness. Going half and half switch. No. no. Oh, heavenly. <laughs> Breathe. Heavenly. <laughs> Coming really? down to the ground or to the bench was heavenly. <sighs> Breathe. That's Last it. one. Oh, my lanta. Okay. Woo. Woo. That is a good one. All right, sculpt bar. Do it again. So we're gonna come down. We're gonna mount it on the tracks, like so. Back here, not up at the neck, not way down here. Right on that beefy part. And then we're gonna tap down for a squat. Don't sit. Tap. Tippy tap. tap. Like if we're gonna make a deposit at a dirty. <laughs> A dirty um, gas station bathroom. She went there. Remember, ideally, we I want... I wouldn't even tap down, personally. Are you not tapping? Not at the gas station. Not at the bathroom. gas station. You There's want a... the angle of your back and the angle of the shins to be quite close to one another. OK. 
Okay, so really think of leading with the glutes. <sighs> I'll sit on a toilet seat for the most part. But gas stations, no, no chance. I let's, try not to go in there even. again. I don't know what happens in those places, but the evidence is. All I feel around. like people just don't care because it's not theirs. That's just how life is. If it's not yours, you typically don't give a shit, which is wrong. I don't get it's the somebody's. non flush. Like, why? Why? Okay, why not flush? I don't understand. Seriously. Okay, let's go. Like, what kind of effort does it really take to flush? Just flush the fucking toilet. <laughs> Okay. Shit's getting real. We're quieting down. Weight in the heels. <laughs> 16 seconds. Oh, we have quite a few reps in these 40 seconds, especially at the tempo we're going. So think about that when you're loading the weight or go at your own tempo and load it up. And one. Woo. Rest. Okay. One more. Seven of those. I, like this bar. I was actually just looking, so I don't shave my legs. You know this, they you don't. don't. I don't shave my legs. <sighs> but like, because I don't shave my legs, don't get that close. I get the odd, random, like sporadic hair. Well, wait, did you like electrolytize? <laughs> no, I, like it's just weird. I. You guys keep chatting. I'll just work over here. I, no um, problem. You're hairless. I'm not hairless. I have no hair on my hairless arms. Hairless cat. I have no hair on my arms and like sporadic on my legs, but I have hair other places. I tried to do laser under my arm, but COVID happened. <laughs> but I'll revisit that situation after. So, th so this causes a problem because my daughter is not hairless. Oh, and no one to relate to. Exactly. So she said to me, "Mommy, why do I have boy hair?" And I was like, "Why do you think it's boy hair?" Obviously, because I don't have any, and her brother and dad do. In her mind, it's boy hair. So what yeah. the fuck? How do I? Anyways, you need to show her old pictures. I told her it's not boy hair. That everyone's body is differently different, and that when she's old enough, I will show her how to get rid of that hair that is clearly not boy hair. My daughter just takes it into her own hands. She's five. I caught her shaving her legs. No. Yeah. She oh shut the bathroom God. door in the bath, and I was like, "What's happening?" Okay, so overhand. She row can't here. be trusted. That one. Oh my goodness. Fully shaving your legs. Okay, so it's an overhand row. If you want to pick up the resistance for this one, you can grab on, or add on rather, not grab on, your pink thingy, okay? So a couple different ways you can do it. You can step into the rungs Ten at seconds. the bottom. Make sure that the pink thingy is centered. And then from there. Two, one. Okay. And if you need to walk your resistance, walk your hands down the rungs, you can. So just as before, when I talked about the shoulder blades moving, you really want to think of your shoulder blades retracting and protracting for this one as well. Five seconds. So maybe I should just bring Brooke over to talk to Gracie and no, they can sort it no, out themselves. No, definitely not. <laughs> Here we go. Not. I can't believe she shaved her own legs at no. five. Actually, I totally can. Yeah. You knew this kid? I feel like Brooklyn would if there were razors available, but because I don't oh, right. use them, they're not around. And she's never seen it. Oh, oh, Ten, regret. 15 seconds. Oh, pink thingy regret. 10 seconds. Tuck oh. that belly button in. Okay. Drive those elbows back. Get out of here. Hit and one. Woo. Oh, Ooh. my goodness. Get out of here. You jumped in. Not your friend anymore. You shouldn't have jumped in. <sighs> Jesus. I'm trying to give options. I was trying to show off. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm Don't sorry. Don't apologize. <laughs> Four seconds. Three, two. Whew. Let's pick it up. Overhand grip. Okay, so take a look at my shoulder blades. They are protracted. They are retracting. We don't want them flat. We want them to move. <sighs> Okay, protract. What would that look like if they weren't moving? I'll show you. Fred, do you want to get back up to my back? If they weren't moving, it'll be like this. Right. Okay. All triceps. All triceps. Pterodactyl. Eyes, tries and oh. binds. 
If you feel like this is loading your back at all, you can back your bum all the way up to a wall, okay? Eight seconds. Finish it. Hold at the top if you feel like you need to check yourself. Woo. And donezo. That was fun, though. That was fun, I have to say. My favorite strength day yet. Okay. And I think it's all thanks to the sculpt bar and the bench. Let's not forget about the bench. bench. Okay. Today's finisher is a total body blast. Let's do it. Total body blast. 